What is going on everybody? Logan here for a new video and as you can tell from the title of this video, I went ahead and picked up a touch-up pen right here. Uh, it was only 14 or 15 bucks from O'Reilly's. I've seen these pens online, but I've never actually had to use them. But as many of y'all know, a few months ago I hydroplaned. Uh, it wasn't that much damage. I already got a new bumper and everything. But as you can see, my fender got scraped up pretty good. Um, I will be getting a new fender altogether here before too long, but my house right now is taking precedent over my car because I mean, my house flooded 10 feet during Harvey. So you can just imagine, you know, my ceilings came down, walls all messed up everything which my brother-in-law Kyle he's actually been helping me out a ton lately uh, my room's already done we have several rooms that's already done in the house I will be doing an update video before too long it's just I want to get a little bit more of the house done before I actually show y'all but aside from my fender my hood right here actually got scraped a little bit too and I already used this touch-up paint on it and as you can see it looks a lot better now obviously no this isn't gonna be professional grade uh, it's just enough paint to cover any kind of scratches to you know kind of hide things whether you're selling your car uh, trading it in or whatnot this would be a great way to get scratches that look like that to blend in a little bit more which I will be replacing my hood too because I want a different style so I didn't mind using this touch-up paint just to experiment because hey at the end of the day I make YouTube videos and if I can make something that'll be helpful I will definitely make it now while I was at O'Reilly's I couldn't find the Kona blue color uh, the closest thing I could get to mine was the sonic blue pearl which as you can tell I mean it does not exactly match in the Kona blue but it comes dang near close and in this pen right here it's actually three different products this right here is gonna be your primer and also it's gonna help you know flake off you know all these little if there's any kind of loose paint or anything it's gonna help flake those off uh, you're gonna have your actual paint which is gonna be just under here and then you're gonna have your clear coat which is gonna be right there now first up you're gonna want to go ahead and take the primer side and just rub it over all this area uh, just to like I said just get all the little the paint flakes off and to get just a good coat of primer on any kind of scratches which as I'm doing this you can see clear as day that rust is starting to form so this is another good way to prevent rust from eating away at your car okay so now that I have the primer all over all the scratches that I want to paint uh, you're gonna go ahead and take the top off and use the paint on the scratches okay so you're gonna go ahead and just apply it on and wow that is significant significantly better than just these scratches it's wow that's a night and day difference now like I said this isn't the perfect color this is that sonic blue color versus Kona blue but I mean look at that that is very very similar and like I said this is so much better viewing the blue color versus the scratches and I just got done putting just the paint on no clear coat on yet uh, and as you can see I mean the color isn't matched exactly but dang that right there is so much better than it being all scratched up so I'm about to put the clear coat on now and I'll show you all the final results here in a second okay so I went ahead and let the stuff dry for a few hours and this right here is the results which honestly I am not let down at all now obviously with this right here being touch-up paint it's not gonna be as good as you know you actually paying somebody to actually paint the entire fender uh, which like I said that is what I'm gonna do but I saw this in O'Reilly's the other day and it was only 14 bucks so I decided just to pick it up and hey from a distance everything looks good and really it's not until you get super super close that you can even tell a difference but compare this right here to it being all scratched up it is a night and day difference and I would way rather prefer that versus all scratched up but if I had the option between choosing this right here or the scratch repair kit that I did maybe what a year and a half ago I did that video it has like 80 or 90 thousand views now I would prefer this stuff every day of the week and hey you can actually go online and get touch-up paint that's exactly the same color as your car the only reason I didn't do that is because for one convenience this stuff right here was already over there at at uh, O'Reilly's and two this isn't permanent because like I said getting a new fender getting a new hood and actually if anybody out there knows of like a cone blue fender laying around for the driver's side let me know I'll pick it up from you but guys that will be up to today's video I just wanted to make this just to show y'all you know if the touch-up pen if it was worth a dang which yes it is very well worth the $15 to you know fix, fix little scratches and like I said I would well rather prefer this over the touch or the uh, the scratch repair kit that I believe armor all or turtle wax does that thing did not work good for me at all. I mean, it looked good for a month, but after that, it just wore away and it was horrible results. So get this stuff right here if you want to fix just little nicks and scratches. Well, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.